So this is probably one of the uh, items that I've been most excited to kind of receive and play with. Uh, and uh, it's because I, well, both myself and my wife have older vehicles, not old, but a 2012 and a 2015. And neither one of those have any kind of uh, fancy, you know, car stereo or anything like that. And based on my last car, upgrading your car stereo to something new that has all like the CarPlay or Android Auto features um, can be really expensive. I paid almost $1,500 for our last car to have a CarPlay stereo put into it. I didn't want to do that again. Uh, so today we're looking at this. This is a Car Pure Ride. Car Pure Ride, I think it is. And if you go to their website, which you can see here, uh, they make all these like, it's like dash mounted, it looks like. Uh, basically little tiny display modules that are compatible, of course, with CarPlay and Android Auto. And they come in, it looks like seven inch models and nine inch models. Uh, and again, depending on the color and if you want a rear view cam or if you want a swivel stand, et cetera, et cetera, they have a bunch. And right now, every one of them, it looks like, as, at least at time of filming, $100 off, which is great, and, and an extra 15%, which is also good. Um, which model that we get? I'm not 100% sure, but I think, I think it's this one here. Actually, if you go down to the bottom, you'll see seven inch and nine inch. We definitely got nine inch, the nine inch version. So we click on here. And uh, my guess would be, either the black one or the silver one. I'm guessing, I think maybe the black one here. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this, this right here. Uh, see what comes in the box with it for 250. And 250 US, US, way better than $1,500. Um, and the install should be super easy. So yeah, we'll take a look at what's in the box. We will then uh, go put it in my car. Now I'm just gonna set it up. You guys won't need to see that, but we'll see, we'll see how it actually um, sets up with our phone. Okay, so I think this is it. And right now, uh, eight reviews, five stars, very cool. That's nine inch display, like that's a big display. Uh, come in here, we have a few pictures, Android Auto and CarPlay, of course, which I love. Uh, GPS navigation, you can use your CarPlay, so like if you're on, a, on an iPhone, on an iPhone, so you can use like Apple Maps or Waze or, or Google Maps, things like that. Um, <clears throat> voice control, very nice. Uh, light sensing design, very cool. And oh, there's still more. Applicable vehicles, well, really anything. Now, the other thing too is I think that it comes with a, like a, Suction mount, I think, which means if you have multiple cars like we do, uh, it's primarily going to go in my car. But let's say we were going on a trip and we were taking uh, my wife's car, we could just take it off and plug it into hers and we'd be good to go. And you wouldn't have to really configure anything because, you know, your car play is set up to this, not to the car. So also really cool. And a list of all kinds of stuff. So yeah, there's a maybe a, a bracket. So if you want it a little more permanent, oh, and and uh, there's your suction mount, a suction cup gasket, all kinds of cool things. I like, I like. All right, let's take a look. So here it is, uh, HD display, nine inch, uh, Bluetooth, USB, uh, TF audio, uh, voice controls, USB charger, and then of course just a bunch of bunch of pictures, bunch of stuff on here. 1080p screen, which is nice. Uh, SD card. Um, I don't know if it comes with one or if it's saying that it just supports them. Maybe that's what it's talking about. TF right there. So you can put a TF device in it. USB, auxiliary cable, voice controls, FM transmitting, right? Uh, phone link and rear view camera. Oh, this one may come with, I don't know if it comes with the rear view. If so, it's, it's the next one up. I'm not going to hook up the rear view camera because, uh, it's too, too much of a hassle to be honest with you. Uh, if you're wired in, you can charge, voice controls, SD card, USB, and uh, main features. There you go, right? You guys can pause it there if you so choose. I do like that it has a USB charger port, so you can actually plug your phone into this if you wanted to. Uh, easy to install, five minutes, FM transmitting, yeah, auxiliary output, which is what we're gonna use because I've used FM transmitters before, and depending where in the world you are, uh, FM transmitters can work great, but if you're also, in an area where there's competing radio stations or, you know, 
the radio station, or there's you find a really good signal in your area, you're like, cool, but you drive like 15 kilometers one direction and all of a sudden there is an actual radio station and now it's more powerful than this is transmitting. So that that's what happened in our area. So I don't, I don't like the FM transmitter for me, but if you're in an area that you get a good station, then it can work really good. Um, this, I've already opened the box, at least just to see the display. Um, this c came in a protective, with a protective seal on it, just so you guys know. But look how big that is, you know? You guys may not be able to see it, but like, there's my hand versus it. Like, that's, that's a good size, right? That's, that's gonna, that's gonna be fantastic on the dash. Um, not much on it. There's your little ports on the back, you know, so you can have all of them kind of listed right there. So it looks like Mike. Uh, SD card again. Does it have an SD card? No, I don't think so. I don't believe so. Uh, I'm trying to read the screen here just to see what it says because uh, I don't know. What is that? Maybe it's AV in out. Uh, oh, AV in, AV out, USB, and of course your power. So AV in, AV out, USB and power. So very nice, and that's where it's going to mount to your different adapters. Already got a little bit of smudgy on. Oh, I didn't take this off. So there's there's a little peel right there. We'll do we'll take that peel off once we get to the car and it's mounted, so that I don't get more fingerprints on it than I need to. Uh, there is your suction mount right there, which is which is fantastic. That's probably that's probably the one that I, I may use this one actually to put in my maybe my wife's car because. It, then we can just kind of move it, right? This is the dash one, which is what I'll probably mount in my car. So it's a little more permanent. It's got a 3M sticker, so make sure it's got a good cleaning. And then put this on, so I'll probably use that. Um, this is a little plate. Uh, I think I think you can put this down somewhere. This probably has a sticker on it. Uh, so that this can stick to it better, just in case you have like a textured dash. I think that's what that's for. And then you have your uh, auxiliary cable, which is what I'm going to use for the audio, and your 12 volt, right? 12 volt that goes in for powering. And last but not least, you get you get a manual because manuals manuals are important. Now, the nice thing about this manual is it's a uh, full color, nice big fonts. Yeah, nuts. I'm down. Right. So that's that's all right. Okay. So I think I think this is going to be awesome is what my thoughts are. I could be completely wrong, but I think it's gonna be awesome. Again, it's getting right now like five, five, five stars, eight reviews. So let's go outside. I'm gonna install it and then I'll show you what I've done and uh, we'll, we'll set up the actual uh, car play so you can see how this configures. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, so got my little camera, got my camera, and we have this hooked up now. I haven't turned it on. Um, nice and easy. I have it on the dash right here. I've got it just in this personal preference. I've got it just tilted down a little bit so there's less chance of sun actually hitting the screen. Um, I do have it on with the suction mount. Uh, and again, I have it sitting on the dash, so it even takes pressure off the suction mount, just in case, because it is it is uh, fairly fairly hefty, right? So uh, all plugged in down here, down here. Uh, I am using the uh, auxiliary cable because my car has an auxiliary. If not, you could use the FM transmitter. And uh, last but not least, um, it's plugged into the 12 volt. And I guess we will just turn this on. Like so, and see, there it goes. Comes on. That's a big. That's a big screen. Big screen. Wow. Look at that. Okay. So um, now I have to figure out. Now I have to figure out what it's doing. But as far as all this looks, uh, it, it looks. It looks good, right? Now I also have my phone here. So as far as I can tell. Um, all I should have to do is go into uh, CarPlay, and I think if I just go up here and just search for CarPlay, so CarPlay, right, uh, it'll, it'll kind of search. So what I'm going to do, because I think they can't officially call it CarPlay probably, so I'm going to guesstimate that it's iPlay. Please use your phone to search and connect here. And that and that 
and that are the same. So tap and it's thinking, thinking, pair, you guys can see it, allow, it says my car, it says it got it, right? CarPlay turned on. There it is. Just like just like that. And I was that's that's the song I was playing. Is that it? Is that all? And there's all the stuff I can have turn on here. So I could say uh car car home. These are things I can turn off, right? Calendar. Um these are all on there. I think well, I think this is all all on there good, right? Car home, more apps, everything's down there. Okay, so if I came here, for instance, and decided to go to a different song to here, boom, changes. And, and if I had my stereo on here, and we'll switch this to... Well, what's funny is I think it's connected to my phone this way. So if I actually went to auxiliary, which is here, and I tapped. I'd have to, well, I'll have to figure this out. Because I think because this sees Bluetooth that it can't do both, right? So let's do this. Turn this off. And I'm actually going to turn turn my Bluetooth off on my phone and I'm dropping stuff here I'm gonna blue turn Bluetooth off on my phone so disconnect no cancel turn Bluetooth off okay Bluetooth is off now because ah, that's not gonna work either okay I have to I have to figure this out hold on I'll be I'll be right back Okay, so I've, I figured it out. So on the top here, on the top, there's a, there's a, there's a button, right? Let's see if I can find it again. You, know, you find it once and then, then you can't find it. Oh, it's on this side, sorry. You tap on it and you'll see it's mute. So it mutes, which is what it was on. Now, this, of course, you can unmute it or you can actually come in here and increase the volume. Now, this is the volume, of course, of how much volume this is pushing out through the auxiliary. So now, once I go back to music, for instance, and I go to, let's say, this one, play, sound. Yeah, awesome, right? And of course we have, we have this, which we can go through here. The touch screen works actually really well. Happy with that. We can go to your phone, messages, right? I can click on my messages to see all this kind of stuff. I can, what's now playing. We have your car home, which takes you uh, back out to the main screen again. So your FM transmitter, if you want to read off a card, off a USB, Bluetooth connection, uh, AirPlay. Uh, a audio is Android audio. This will be CarPlay, auto, audio link, and of course your settings. Everything actually runs really fast. So I'm really pleased with that. And again, we can just kind of go back to home. Just go back to iPlay. We have everything here. We have our settings in here if we want. Everything moves really fast. Uh, super pleased. Uh, we can go back into this one here. I believe this is Siri. Oh no, so once you're in here, you can just tap this button without having to tap the top button. And I think if you hold this, you'll get Siri come up. Just, just like real CarPlay, just like real CarPlay. And when you're on your main screen, of course, it'll have a little preview of all the stuff that you can have that's kind of running right now. If you want to search, if you want to go into your maps. So it's, it's fantastic. Uh, really happy with this. And again, while I'm driving, I like that little bit of a tilt, but that's just personal how I'm setting it up. You guys don't have to set it up like that by any means. Um, I just like having it on the dash so that it takes a little bit of weight off of the actual uh, suction mount. Now again, it does have a USB on the side as well. So if I want to run a USB out to lightning for me or whatever it is so that I can uh, charge my phone, I'm good to go. Um, pleased, very pleased. I think this is probably one of the best kind of add-ons for anybody that wants CarPlay. If you want CarPlay, 
you know, you can buy a CarPlay stereo, but like for me, it was almost $1,500 and I had to install it. You can get CarPlay stereos for something like this car here, probably spend five, $600. But what a lot of people don't realize is, is that if you don't have the ability to install it and if you need to go buy adapters and, and car kits and stuff like that, those can cost you three, four, five hundred dollars as well if you have to take it and get it installed. I didn't want to have to deal with any of that. Five minutes to take this here, plug it in, two cables for me because I have the auxiliary and, and into the actual um, 12 volt, we're good. If not, you could use the FM transmitter. And I'm thinking because my car does have Bluetooth, I could probably just get rid of the auxiliary cable and possibly just use Bluetooth just so that I could have everything displayed up here. So yeah, I think it's great. And I think that as soon as you turn it off, yeah, the CarPlay turns off because my 12 volt loses power and that loses power as well. So perfect. All right, guys, that's it. I'll leave links to Car Pure Ride uh, if you guys are looking at an Android Auto or uh, CarPlay setup for your older car, which may not have it. Uh, this this is a I think this is this is great. All right, guys, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.